Hey there guys, Cliff here for That Was History, and I have a flashlight. You know, flashlights can be a lifesaver in dark situations, but that's only if there's a battery inside of them. Without this battery, the flashlight is nothing more than a little bit of plastic and some bulbs. Nowadays, batteries are a staple product in our society. We use things like car batteries, cell phone batteries, and even these disposable batteries for flashlights or remotes. If asked, I bet that you would even agree that batteries are a modern day invention intended for modern day products. I'm gonna wager, however, that the first battery known to exist was invented over 2,000 years ago. So the story goes that in 1983, some terracotta pots were discovered within the collection of the National Museum of Iraq. The reason that these pots were so interesting is because they dated somewhere between 250 AD and 250 BC, and they contained a copper pipe, an iron rod on the inside, a cork made of asphalt on the top, and an acidic liquid on the inside. This design led researchers to believe that perhaps these pots were used as galvanic cells, which brings us back to modern day batteries. The principle of operation behind these pots and modern day batteries is very similar. Due to this, many people just use the term Baghdad battery or Parthian battery to reference these pots today. While all of this information sounds very credible, the central argument against the Baghdad battery is that its design was a complete accident. Number one being that when replicas of the pots were made to test the theory, a single pot only produced about a third of a volt. And number two being that there was a lack of reasons to use the device. The Mythbusters team, however, proved that if you connected enough of these terracotta pots together, then they would produce enough voltage to perform tasks like electroplating, which is used to change the surface properties of an object, or it could have possibly been used for acupuncture therapy. If all else fails, it could have been used as a means of connecting or feeling God. Can you imagine what it must have been like to not understand the properties or purpose of electricity? To the ancients, it very well could have been conceived as a way to interact with their creator. In the end, the Mythbusters determined that electroplating, acupuncture therapy, and religious experiences are all plausible uses for the Baghdad battery. Personally, I believe that the batteries were created for a special purpose and that it wasn't just coincidence. I can't exactly say what the use might have been, but I believe that the shock was a known result and that they had a purpose in mind for why they created them that particular way. But now is your chance to chime in. Do you believe that these ancient civilizations knew about their pot's capabilities, or was this just a simple coincidence? Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Also, here's another video I think you might like. It's entitled, What If the Barbie Doll Had Never Been Created? You might be surprised how much impact one toy can have on an entire society and economy. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and please share this video around if you enjoyed it. Until next time, my name's Cliff Langston, and I'll see you again soon.